Yeah, and we're looking at vocal warm-ups at the moment, and uh, most of these are really short. They're things that you can well, listen to in about a minute or so and practice for yourself in much less time than that. Put them together as part of your daily routine. Uh, to uh, help you get a better broadcast podcast and voice over voice. Hello, I'm Peter Stewart. Today, another really short one, the This and That vocal warm-up. And yeah, uh, the clue is in the title of the episode. Say the word this and then that. And you'll notice that to make the th, you put the tip of your tongue between your teeth. This and that. So, this is what I'd like you to do. Say again and make it a long buzzing sound and while you do that if you just put a couple of fingers just gently on your throat on the outside of your larynx you'll feel it vibrate and then stick your tongue out a little bit further again while vibrating a sound it's another way to warm up your articulators on Get A Better Broadcast, podcast and voice over voice. Got another one for you tomorrow as we move from the tongue and the lips to the nasal area. Yeah, the nasal area, which helps give your voice kind of part of its body. It's not so much an articulator in itself, uh, in as much as it's not necessarily helping you to form words, but word sounds, I, 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 certainly, but also it's really important because unlike the teeth and the lips and the tongue, it actually helps much more with resonance than any of those three other factors. The sing-song vocal warm-up, it's okay, you don't have to sing a song. Intrigued? We'll find out together more as Get A Better Broadcast podcast and Voice Over Voice continues. From London, I'm Peter Stewart. <laughs>